like a small boat on the ocean sending big waves into motion like how a single word can make a heart open i might only have one match but i can make an explosion it is um april 5th 2021 Welcome to Candid with Cassidy. So, um, tomorrow. Sophie comes tomorrow! Tell me everything you're feeling. Excitement, nervousness that I'm going to screw up the rest of her training. You're not gonna screw up the rest of her training. More excitement and, oh, did I mention excitement? Tell me what you're most excited about. To have someone sleep in a bed with me. Are we daddy and mommy are we? Yes, yeah, to have someone sleep in a bed with me. To have an animal with me while, while I'm in the hospital. Why is that exciting? I just see her comforting me. Yesterday we went to the ER. What'd they do? Access my port. <laughs> because every week we have to go in for a blood draw. And explain why for people who don't have ports and people who aren't on chemo. Because chemo can kill off, supposed to kill off the bad cells in your tumor, but it can also kill off your good cells and you need to make sure that if your cells go too low, you can have someone else's blood transfused into your body so that you don't die. So you need to have, <laughs> um, you need to go to the hospital every week. Yes. And last night was your last night without Sophie, but you got to see Polly. So you get to see um, people that we are getting to know because they're there for the weekly visits. And Holly, you won't be able to see after this because you're gonna have Sophie. Yeah. Um, so who is Holly? Holly is the therapy dog at the hospital who goes around and sees kids. There are therapy dogs, which has been amazing, and it's a, a huge comfort to you to have them there. She hops on my bed. She loves on you, and just I think last night she actually even fell asleep on your bed. <laughs> but there are no therapy dogs that come around for chemo. Next time you go into chemo, we will have Sophie. Is there a particular <laughs> thing that you go, that you go through during during chemo or before chemo that makes you most excited about the idea of having a, a service dog? Just having the comfort and the excitement of knowing that there's someone there who doesn't really have worries and just loves on you no matter what. I don't really know how to explain why it's exciting to have a dog with you, but it is, isn't it, Copper? We have a lot of other animals. How do you think Sophie is gonna get along with our other animals? She knows how to interact with other animals because she's lived with, with the trainer and the trainer has tons of dogs. So she's gonna be comfortable with playing with Copper. Maybe they'll tug on this together and he's not gonna know what to do. How do you think the cats are gonna respond to Sophie? Simba's gonna hiss and hiss and hiss. Nugget's gonna... Probably hiss. Probably hiss. And do you think Copper and Sophie are gonna wind up being friends? Our transport person is headed toward Atlanta, which is only about six and a half hours away from Louisville. So by this time tomorrow, we will have Sophie. All right, stay tuned, more to come. All right, we, we just heard from Amanda and there's another delay. <laughs> due to traffic. She's gonna be here now between seven and 7.25. But you know, isn't anticipation kind of the most fun part? No. <laughs> two hours to two and a half hours before you have one more dog. All right. Yeah. Still excited. Good. Yeah. Glad to see it. Cassidy! She's here! Are you excited? Wow. Quick, open the door and tell Uncle Greg she's here. I. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Oh my gosh! Thank you so much. You can set <laughs> you can set it down if you want. This is I'm Shannon, and this is Cassidy. Oh my gosh! My headache disappeared for a second. <laughs> Are you excited? She just she's had like a migraine, and she just said her headache like disappeared for a second. Oh. Greg, her tip is in my purse. Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! 
Hello, Sophie. Uh -huh. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea, I'll sail the world to find you. If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see, I'll be the light to guide you. Find out what we're made of when we are called to help our friends in need. You can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah If you're tossing and you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you, oh Find out what we're made of When we are called to help our friends in need You can count on me like one, two, three I'll be there And I know when I need it I can count on What friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah You'll always have my shoulder when you cry I'll never let go, never say goodbye are supposed to do all oh yeah Ooh. I'm like, oh my gosh, Sophie's coming so soon. And it's like, I forgot about Easter. So thank you. Thank you. Because it's just so amazing. Thank you so much. That was like so Yay! exciting. <laughs> okay. This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove I'm Stay tuned because there, Cassidy, because a person who who's raising awareness for cancer is mowing people's lawns, and he chose us as one as one of the people for Kentucky. He's doing all fifty states. His name's Rodney Smith Jr. His name's Rodney Smith Jr. And Cassidy's gonna meet him next week, right? Mm -hmm. He's gonna he's he's coming. He's actually coming. <laughs> so should people watch? Yes, you should watch. 
and don't remember to click that bell if you want to get notified notified when new videos come out thank you so much for watching bye